everybody, welcome back to Tashi's World of Books and welcome to another book recommendation video. Happy Friday, and so I thought for my end of the week video recommendation, I would do an age gap recommendation. I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of something for everybody. So we're gonna have some taboo, we're gonna have some mafia, we're gonna have some contemporary. We're gonna to try to put it all in there, so then that way there's something for everybody, so try to pick through it and find the one that's best for you. So let's get started. Okay, so my first one I'm gonna put over here is Daddy Dearest, and this is about Levi and Kendall. And whew, they start off this book by saying, remember baby girl, your daddy's little secret. So this is some daddy kink. <laughs> Stepdad, Levi, absolutely loves his twin girls, loves both of them, but he loves one best. And he just can't wait anymore and he wants her. And guess what, Kendall wants him too. And she shares everything with her twin sister, but she's not sharing daddy. And she's ready to be daddy's little girl. And so, Whew, this is gonna be spicy, this is gonna be steamy, this is gonna be taboo, this is gonna be dirty. It's gonna give you all the smut, it's gonna give you everything on the smut level, on the steam level, it's like a five out of five for sure. And I don't even know what else to say. If you want some daddy kink, go for it. Okay, the next book is Confess by A. Zavarelli. And this is the story between Gypsy and Lucian. Lucian's MO is, I don't love, I don't do relationships. He isn't husband material. He basically is one of the most hated men in America. He's arrogant, he's an alpha, he's a ruthless attorney, he's a no holds bar, right? Like a stiff in a suit kind of guy, but he's gonna do whatever it takes to get what he wants. So what does he want? One contract, two signatures, and a marriage of inconvenience. So in his mind, Lucian feels like, I've already made Gypsy mine, right? I married her, so why not really make her mine? And so now he feels like it's time to claim the rest of her. So there's gonna be plenty of angst in this. It's gonna be lots of chemistry. It's gonna be packed with emotion. It's definitely some dark themes in here, so check out the trigger warnings, and for sure check out the trigger warnings in all the books that I'm talking about today, because there are gonna be there for sure. It's a standalone, and it, it ends in an HEA, and just know that there are two books in the series, and it's well worth the ride, so, but buckle up and hold on, because you're gonna be in for a ride. Okay, the next book is Bad, 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 and that's by Kay Webster, and y'all know I love me some Kay Webster, and I got some fun stuff coming up for, for Kay Webster, so in, in the next week or so, so tune in. Anyway, so Bad, 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 I absolutely love it. It's, it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. It's two novellas, they're jam-packed with lots of insta-love, they're hot, they're steamy, and so you've got Brant's Cherry Girl and Cher's Bad Girl. And I absolutely love it because they're both age gaps. The two girls are best friends and the two guys are best friends. And it's one, one of the girls, okay, so the two guys are best friends. One of the girls is the sheriff's best friends is getting involved with him. And then her best friend is getting involved with the best friend's dad. So it's like that kind of dynamic. And I loved it because it is naughty, naughty, naughty. And um, I'm not held responsible for any of the themes in the book. It is just spicy. It gives you HEA. It gives you all the stuff. There's definitely some themes, of, like some heavier themes in the second story because there's some abuse and, you know, that kind of stuff that comes out. But, whew, this story is hot, hot, hot. And you can read it in like two hours. It gives you everything that you want and then some. And Kay Webster always delivers. So the fourth book is All Grown Up, and that's by Vi Keeland. So you've got... Valentina, who is seven years divorced, right? So she's trying to get back into the dating scene. So what does she do? She goes on match, because don't we all go on match when we're trying to get back in the dating scene? She goes on match, she meets up, meets a 25 year old like hot dude, and she's super excited about it. But lo and behold, what she doesn't know is that the 25 year old hot dude is, guess what? The kid next door, said she's known his whole life. So she's like, what the hell? So, it is a 12 year age gap. It is one of those things like if you're in the mood for a slow burn, older woman, younger guy type situation, 
Um, from what I hear, I haven't read this, it's on my TBR. From what I hear, it is one of the best slow burn age gap romances out there. It really gets a five out of five star. So I decided to put it on this review and recommendation for you guys. Okay, number five. Misconduct by Penelope Douglas. Who spicy, spicy. Penelope Douglas knows how to write a book like nobody's business. So this is about Easton and Easton and Tyler. So Easton is a former tennis player. So at 23 years old, she's starting her first job at a, a teaching job at a private school. And so like fast forward, like going back, she's at a party and she's at this party and she meets this guy that she's like into and she's excited about like whatever. And then fast forward, forward, I'm not gonna tell you the details, fast forward, forward, she finds out that the guy that she met at the party some months ago is actually the father of one of her students. And so when Tyler shows up at the parent teacher meeting, Easton quickly realizes two things that Tyler has no idea how to raise his son. He's the worst father ever. And that too, there is this tremendous mutual attraction uh, between the two of them. And I absolutely love Misconduct. It is steamy, it's a taboo romance because it's student teacher and it's the, it falls under the student is like uh, the student teacher and then there's the father that's involved, but there's definitely like an age gap between the father of her student and herself. So there's that for sure. And it ends in an HEA, but it's a beautiful, beautiful story, the way that it comes together and the found, newfound family and just all the different components that uh, come together in this book. It's really, really well done. I absolutely loved it. Okay, so then book number six is Misbehave by Charlie Rose. Whoo, this is, oh man. You wanna talk about the sexual tension that runs high between Remington or Remy and Pierce. And she, so she's at a new school. She obviously comes from the wrong side of town and for whatever the circumstances, which you'll find out when you read, she goes to this private school. And at this private school, she basically is ostracized. And Mr. James, tries to support her and help her and she's got a lot of stuff going on with her stepbrother and so there's a lot of dynamics there's a lot of family dynamics that go awry and a teacher that has taken a liking to this student and wants to help and support her but obviously other things are developing that they both know are wrong but they can't fight against it and it is just really really the sexual tension between the student and teacher is immense. It definitely is a slow burn. Um, the age gap in here is 11 years between the two and it is whoo. The tension between Pierce and Remy is just like over the top and you feel it in so many ways and so go and check it out. So very similar to Misbehave as I was reading Misbehave I was thinking about Dark Notes by Pam Godwin. And let me say that Misbehave, I feel like, doesn't achieve what Dark Notes does. Dark Notes, again, is one of the first dark romances. I like read a bunch of dark romances all like at the same time, and it really turned me on to the genre, and I absolutely loved the story between Emmerich and Ivory. This is a heartbreaking, sexy, gritty, one of the best student teacher romances I've ever read. It has elements of BDSM in it. It's got very complex characters. And if you like dark romances, it's one of the first books where BDSM was really used to help heal someone. So check out, check out all the trigger warnings because there are a number. There is abuse, there is neglect, there's poverty. There is a lot of things that go on, but man, I, Ivory is a very talented, pianist and she's got a lot of things going for her but she is in a very untenable situation because of poverty and circumstances that have happened to her family and Emmerich is a teacher a new teacher at the school and he sees this in her but he immediately becomes attracted to her and feels possessive over her and feels protective over her and there's a lot of dynamics going on and I'm going to tell you that you are going to be riveted from page one you're not going to be able to put this down the age gap between the two is 10 years it is beautiful 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 I've read it multiple times it's such a good book I can't like that sets the precedence for definite student teacher age gap romances if you haven't read it get on it don't sleep on it
Another really good book that, and again, like every book on this list is a five out of five star for sure, but another really good book is The Unrequited by Saffron Kent. And whoo, this is, again, if you are in the mood for a student teacher, if you're in the mood for age gap, if you're in the mood for two broken souls that come together to seemingly repair one another and help each other heal, there's a nine year age gap between these two. Man, I, 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 Layla is, whew, she's broken. Thomas is off limits and broken. They both are severely disturbed characters, but they find healing in one another. And I'm telling you, this is... Whew, it's powerful, it's good, it's steamy. The steamy scenes are amazing, amazing, especially the steamy scene at the end, right before things, sort of the third act conflict happens. That thing that goes down between the two of them when he like meets her at her apartment. <laughs> it's really, really good. So I don't wanna give it away, but it's super good. So you guys go and check it out. Number nine is Lessons in Corruption by Gianna Darling. There's an eight year age gap. This is definitely forbidden student teacher relationship. It is a, num a book in the, seer in the uh, ongoing series. After spending years in an unhappy marriage, Chrysidia Irons needs a fresh start and needs a new beginning. She wants to start all over in a new town. She gets a brand new job as a teacher and she never anticipated King. A man who knows what he wants and refuses to let anything or anyone stand in his way. He's going to get it. And he gets her. But how does that happen? He's a student. And it's MC. So let's see what happens and how that unfolds. Go and check it out. It's worth it for sure. And then the last book that I want to recommend is Scandalous by LJ Shen. This is a 15-year age gap. And so this definitely is, this is, whoo, if you want to send your ovaries into overdrive, go and check out Scandalous. So you've got 33-year-old business mogul Trent, right? AKA the mute. He's got no time for distraction, especially 18-year-old senior, high school senior, Eddie. Well, guess what? That's all she's going to provide is distractions. So she's being blackmailed by her father. She's asked to find out some dirt on Trent. And so she says, all right, I'll do that. And as she's seeking to find out all the dirt on him, she finds something completely different that she was not expecting to find. Yet, nonetheless, completely priceless and amazing. And like I said, if you want to send your ovaries into way overdrive and you want to Ooh, get the steam on, go and check out Scandalous by LJ Shen. So you guys, those are the 10 recommendations that I have for age gap romances. And you've got some student teacher, you've got some MC, you've got some dark romances, you've got some contemporary. I tried to give it all to you and they all are really amazing. Like I said, everything on there is for sure a 4.75 or a five star. Please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on those books and if you've read them and give me some other age gap romances because we all love age gaps so I, I would love to hear more and let's get a discussion going in the in the comments below you guys thank you so much for joining me and please like and subscribe and come hang out with me more and you know i upload new videos every monday wednesday and friday so i look forward to seeing you in my next video thanks guys bye